Hello dear students, myself Ramzan R. Mula, Assistant Professor of Chemistry in Sri J. Society, Sri J. Lodrapur, Arts, Commerce and Science Degree College, Patri. So today we are going to discuss the experiment that is estimation of acetamide. So here the aim of this experiment is that to estimate the amount of acetamide which is present in the given solution. The apparatus required for the estimation of acetamides are pipette, burette, conical flask, air condenser, sandbar, funnel, measuring flask and etc. Similarly, the chemicals required for the experiment are KOL solution, amide solution, phenolphthalein indicator and 0.1 H2SO4 solution. The theory behind this experiment is that, so here uh, we will be provided with amide solution and we have to hydrolyze the given amide solution with the base and here the water, during the hydrolysis whatever the amount of acid liberated they are neutralized only part of the KOL solution the remaining KOL solution will be remained in the reaction mixture so we have to estimate how much amount of remaining KOL is present in the given sample solution the experimental setup which is required for the hydrolysis of amide are set up here so this is a round bottom flask this is air condenser this is durable span this is sandbar sandbar and uh, here we have the amide solution so first what we have to do is we have to take 25 ml of 1 m KOH solution in the round bottom flask which are already placed in the round bottom flask now what we have to do is so here we have to add 25 ml of amide solution to this round bottom flask now we, we have to set here exactly 25 ml of amide solution Exactly now we have 25 ml of this amide solution and we have to pour this amide solution into this round bottom flask which contains 1 m KOH solution. To this we have to add two boiling chips in order to avoid the bursting of solution. Now we have to keep it on the sandbar and uh, fix this air condenser. Now we have to heat this reaction mixture for 90 minutes. Now we have to remove this air condenser. Now we have to place a clean funnel on this and again it is heated for the 30 minutes in summer industry we have to check the expulsion of ammonia by the red litmus paper
there is no change in the color of this red litmus paper. It means that ammonia is completely expelled out from this reaction mixture. There are two steps for the estimation of acetamide. One is main titration and one more is blank titration. Now, first here we will do the blank titration. For blank titration, we have to take 0.1 in S2SO4 in burette and in conical flask 25 ml of diluted KOH solution. Means first 1 in KOH solution is taken in a measuring flask. 25 ml KOH solution is taken in a measuring flask and it is then diluted to 250 ml. And then indicator used for the blank titration is phenolphthalein. The color change is pink to colorless. So here the experimental setup I have. So this is the conical flask and here we have the 25 ml diluted KOH solution. So here in measuring flask there I have a taken 25 ml of diluted KOH solution and this beaker also contain the same solution. Here we have the phenolphthalein indicator and this is the pipette and this is the experimental setup. In burette I have filled this burette with a 0.1 n S2SO4 solution. Here we have to take 25 ml of this diluted KOH solution in this conical flask. This is 25 ml of KOH solution. To this, we have to add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator. Now, we have to titrate this solution till the color changes from pink to colorless. Now the color is changed from pink to colorless. So the duret reading is exactly it is 24. See the duret reading over here. It is 24. Now 
we have to write down ph initial reading is 0.0 cc now the final reading is 24.0 cc the difference is 24.0 cc and similarly two more readings are taken and i have taken this round bottom flask now the solution which is there in the round bottom flask can be diluted to 250 ml in this measuring flask so now into this measuring flask now we have to dilute this solution with a distilled water up to 250 ml now we have 250 ml of this solution from this we have to take 25 ml now we have to carry out the main titration for this main titration we have to take 25 ml hydrolyzer diluted reaction mixture from a 250 ml measuring flask in a clean conical flask So this is the 25 ml hydrolyzer diluted reaction mixture which is taken in the conical flask. To this we have to add 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator and this reaction mixture is titrated against 0.1 S2SO4 solution till the color changes from pink to colorless. Now the color changes from pink to colorless and the burette reading is 19.0 cc. Similarly two more readings are taken and the readings are entered in the tabular column. Now we got the main titration readings over here. The first reading what I have taken is it is 19 ml. Similarly second and third readings are also 
same for the main titration and again we have over here a blank titration readings that we already taken so the readings for the blank titration are 24 cc all the three readings are same the last part what we, what we left is that is calculation part so see the first one is that blank titration reading that is v1 ml which is equal to 24 ml main titration reading that is v2 ml and it is, is equal to 19 ml the third one is the amount of excess alkali which is there in the 25 ml hydrolyzed solution is p1 minus v2 that is 5 ml the amount of amide present in 25 ml diluted solution is equal to a into 0 0.0059 here a is nothing but what it is the subtraction of blank titration and main titration that is v1 minus v2 so now 5 into 0 0.0059 that gives 0 0.0 0.0295 ml the last one is the total amount of amide present in 250 ml solution that can be calculated b into 10 where the b is nothing but what it is a into 0 0.0059 which we already calculated so here b into 10 gives 0 0.295 gram this is the overall calculation